Hi, Elite Recapped here. In this video I will recap one of a unique film. Horror, mystery, thriller film, released 2021. Cult. The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It. For more movie summaries. Don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell button to get all new videos. And like this video, it really helped channel to grow. Before we start. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Have a great day. The movie starts with a home in an empty place, getting into the home, someone say a prayer and the home destroyed like a monster did it. On July 18, 1981 Ed Ed Warren and Lorraine Warren were to document the exorcism of David Glatzel, he is 8 years old. Ed stopped praying suggested to take a break then he said the father of the church is on his way to here. In the second scene Lorraine give Ed something to drink and he said that he never see the exorcism quite like that. In the room again Arnie took David to his room upstairs, they started to talk to each other, Arnie told him that he understand him because he was weak like him and the boys bullying on him, then he told him that he is a brave, David told him that he didn't see himself as a brave, then Arnie told him that being brave doesn't mean that you're not scared, it's mean you're scared but you hang in there. Arnie heard a sound of car, he looked from the window, saw the father of the church as came. Arnie get out from the room and David now is alone in his room. David heard a huge sound it was like someone broking his room's door, he ran to the bathroom and locked it, getting into the bathtub hiding from someone. He looked up, he saw a someone hand, the the tap of the bathtub starting to open alone, then a blood get out instead of water. David started to scaring, Ed, the father and his family got upstairs, David's father broke the bathroom door, then he asked him to came. David got a knife, he ran through his father and stabbed him in his leg. Ed took the boy telling the father of the church that they should do it now. The father said that they would took him to the church, but Ed refused and told him that they should do it right now. They took David downstairs, put him on the table, David's brother went to the camera to filming what happening, Ed asked Arnie to hold David tightly and then starting to say a prey on him. The father started his prey, then Lorraine and while she sang her prey, saw a vision. She stopped and the father started to throw on David a holy water, it burned David. The whole home was trembling like an earthquake is happening. The buffet opened and the plates started to throw on them, a plate hit the father in his head and he went down and the camera fall down too. Ed took the book from the father and starting to say a prey, David's holding started to be more harder his body moving like someone broking it. David curled his body and Ed was starring to him, Lorraine talked to him to continue the prey, meanwhile, Arnie started to talk to the demon inside David and Ed forbid him to do that. David threw them all and jumped on Ed, put his hand on Ed's heart and told him that he is going to stop his heart. While Laura was going to help Ed, she saw another vision. Arnie took David off and started to talking to the demon inside him, and telling him to let David go and go to Arnie's body. Ed seeing Arnie doing that and he said no. The demon left David's body and went to Arnie's body. The quite came into, David's family hugged him and Lorraine went to Ed and asked the family to call the ambulance, Arnie rests his back to wall and the scene end. The exorcism of 8 years old David Glatzel was meant to end the month of torment. But for Arnie Johnson, it was just the beginning. The tragic events that followed made nationwide headlines and led Ed and Lorraine Warren to the most sinists. Based on true story. At the hospital, the doctor came out from the operation room, telling them that it was a hard heart attack Lorraine asked the doctor how is he going to be and the doctor told her that he need a cardiac stent. In the morning Arnie was sleeping and his girlfriend get into his room, she wake him up, then he told her that David is okay now and asked her to leave the town, she told him how they would live, then he told her that both of them now working and didn't pay a rent, so they have money. She told him that she'd just get into this job and the dogs need someone to look after them, while getting out from the room, told him that she was thinking about it. Arnie and his girlfriend was talking to someone telling him about the dogs and how to look after them. This man told Arnie that if he ready to get $5 to fix his stereo, Arnie accepted but told him make it 15 the man told him it would be $10. In the garden the David's sister telling her mother that Arnie asked her to move out from here, her mother got happy and asked her if it was a proposal and told her if she said yes, her daughter told her that she told him that she would thinking about that, while talking to Arnie and asked him to get something from the kitchen. Arnie got into the kitchen, he saw a packet moving on the shelf and went down on the floor, Arnie went to see it, he get close to it, then a mouse suddenly got out from it. Arnie saw a hole in the wall, he looked inside it, then he suddenly found a woman looking to him, he got scared and fallen on the floor. In the hospital, the father of the church getting inside Ed's room, his wife sitting beside him and the father sat down, the father told her to get back to her home to get some rest, but she didn't accept that. Lorraine told the father how they met, 30 years ago, she was going to the cinema with her friends and Ed was the boy who guide people to their places. They went out together and it start raining, they wait in a place have a roof in the street, 
until the rain uvered, then they didn't get a break for 30 years. A door's room is opening, from the window of this room we seeing Arnie on a tree going to cut it. Arnie trying to play the saw but, it didn't want to play, he felt that someone looking to him from the window, he turned to see it but, no one there, suddenly the saw played, it was saw close to cut his arm, but he throw him down. Arnie went back to home, his girlfriend Debbie talking to him, then Bruno the man who was telling him about the dogs invited him to drink with him and listening to something from the stereo after fixing it. In the hospital, Ed wake up and telling his wife that the demon spirit's still there and asked her to call the Glatzels, she told him that David is okay now, Ed told her that the spirit get into Arnie's body. Meanwhile, Bruno was playing the stereo very loud and drinking beer, he give Arnie a beer to drink but, Arnie was so exhausted. Debbie get inside and asked from Bruno to turns down the volume but, he turned it up more. Bruno took Debbie to dance with her, Arnie went to wash his face, he washed it more than once but, he still exhausted. Arnie heard Debbie screaming and went inside, he saw Bruno trying to hurt Debbie and Bruno was the demon spirit, but nothing, Bruno and Debbie were still dancing and Arnie was starring to them. Debbie saw that Arnie is not okay and was trying to help him. Arnie get out from the room and Debbie beside him, he was looking in front of him, it got dark and red, then he felt that a dog was running towards him, Arnie took a knife and killed what he was seeing his dog Bruno. Arnie got out from the home and the police went there, because Lorraine called them and told them that something bad is going to happen. The officer stopped Arnie and Arnie was bloody, then he told him that he might be hurt someone. In the prison, Ed, Lorraine, the father of the church and Debbie was sitting with Arnie and Arnie was saying a prayer, but nothing affected on him. Ed asked him to stop, he didn't possess by a demon spirit. Debbie told him that what she saw and the one who killed Bruno wasn't Arnie. Ed told him that what he read and this religious stuff could provoke a demon spirit, but that doesn't mean that he was obsessed by it, the Ed asked about his lawyer. Ed and Lorraine went to Arnie's lawyer and told her that he was obsessed, the lawyer didn't believe them and told them there's no proof about that and the court wouldn't take that. Ed told her that if she need a proof, he invited her in dinner on their home to show her the evidence that they collect throughout the years and would show her Annabelle. At the court, the judge accusing Arnie by first degree murder, then the lawyer told the judge that he was obsessed while making the murder. They get out from the court, the lawyer told Ed and Lorraine that the judge would order to execute Arnie, because there's no evidence to get him out. Ed and Lorraine told her that they would do their best to brought evidence. They said that they should go to the beginning to get evidence, the playing a tape, in at their first visit to David's home. Five months ago Glatzel's family was moving to their home now, David entered the home have a toy box in his hand, he got into a room, found a water bed. David's starting to play on this water bed, but suddenly he felt that someone is inside this bed, he started to look for it. Suddenly, a hand got out from this water bed and tried to took David, David screaming and went back to the wall, then his family came to him, David told them what happened, but they didn't believe him. Ed and Lorraine went to this room, Debbie telling them what happened, Ed asked her about the place of the waterbed. They put a carpet on this place, because the waterbed ruined the floor, Ed saw the place and told her that the waterbed would never ruin like that. They went down to a place under the home with a door, Debbie opened the door and Lorraine got inside, she crawled inside, suddenly she screamed, Ed asked her what happened and she told him it just a rat. She found a covered place, she got inside and found a lot of rats there. She found something covered, then she opened it, it's a totem, she said a prey and pictured it. Now, Ed and Lorraine went to Glatzel's home, Debbie and her brother with them. They showed them the pictures and told them about it and told Debbie when she saw Arnie make the murder she said that he wasn't him. They told her that he wasn't him, it happened in the exorcism night, the demon spirit left David and got into Arnie. They give them the pictures to show them to the local police if they have seen something like that before, then the father told him that he knows someone that might be know what is this. He is the former father of the church, he left it and started to understand and help the people who do something like that. Ed and Lorraine went to the former father and introduced themselves, they sat down and showed him the pictures of the totem, the father told them to stop investigating in this thing. Lorraine asked him if he saw this totem before, he told her that he saw something like it. The father took them to a room in his home, while getting down to the room Lorraine felt bad and didn't want to get in the room. They get inside and Lorraine told the father that he should burn this books and he told her that he thought about it, but he decided to hide them away from the Satanists. He told them that the evidence they looking for may be here or not. Meanwhile, one of the Satanists was making a ritual. At the prison, Arnie was cleaning the floor and someone was sleeping on the bed in this room, Arnie pushed the bale, the woman who watching them told him to bring it. Arnie went to under the bed to bring the bale, but suddenly the bale moved away, Arnie freaked out and moved away. He stand up and then, the light of the room that the watching them from there turned off and the man who was sleeping sat down and starting to Arnie and starting to told him that he know who is he, 
then the demon spirit by a man Kathy him. Arnie freaked out and fall down on the floor, a two guards got inside to took him, he told them that he was here. Ed and Lorraine at their home and someone brought them a flower, the telephone is ringing, Ed replied, David's brother told him that he is in Reeves and found a case have a totem like what they have. Ed and Lorraine went to Reeves and they was talking to the detective, he told them that two girls disappeared four months ago, and they found one of them was 22 stabbed and another one still missing. Ed told him that if the totem is same, the girl might be obsessed, and it would help them at Arnie case. The detective told them that he want their help, not he would help them. Lorraine told him what about helping each other, she would found the girl and he helped them at the case, because she saw things that detectives people couldn't see it. The detective brought her three knives to tell him which one that the girl killed by it. Ed get nervous and didn't want to make a show by his wife's gift, Lorraine picked the knife and he took them to the woods. Meanwhile, Debbie and David visiting Arnie, Debbie told him that they found a case like his one and it would help him. Arnie was exhausted and can't feel happy, Debbie saw that and asked him how he is feeling. David talked to him about how it's cold here and told him that he is remembering how he was feeling, it was with you all the time and telling you something to do. Debbie looked to Arnie and asked him what he telling him to do. In that time, Ed Lorraine and detective at the car, Lorraine told the detective that he missed the turn that happened the murder on. The went back there to the place, Ed was scary to found the girl, Lorraine told them that something very bad happened here. She sat down on the ground, putting her hand on it. It came dark, Lorraine went back to the crime night, she saw a hand from behind the tree, the two friend here, one of them Jessica brought a gift to her friend she gave it to her. Lorraine there acting what happening there, Jessica started to stab her friend and Lorraine doing like her. Ed stopped Lorraine from doing that, Lorraine followed Jessica at that night and Ed followed Lorraine, but he got tired, Lorraine still running and Ed went after her. They went to a hill and it was so close to Jessica and Lorraine to fall down. Something took them to down, Ed helped Lorraine to not fall down, but no one helped Jessica she is down there, she told the detective. At the night they found a body, but they are not sure if it's Jessica or not, the would wait for the doctor report to confirm that she is Jessica. The detective asked them about their address to send the case files to them. Ed and Lorraine went to a motel, Debbie called them and telling them that Arnie saw the demon spirit and it telling him to kill himself, he told her to call the prison to talk with the father there and telling him that Arnie need to watch to protect him from killing himself, they closed, Ed wondering what this creature? In the prison while there is a thunder and lightning, a guard walking and Arnie inside his room, another guard gave him a bottle with a cross on it to protect himself. Meanwhile, Lorraine told Ed that when she touched David hand, she felt a connection with the one who made the curse. In the prison, Arnie sitting terrified from the spirit, he draw a circle on the ground by the water and sat inside it and starting to say a prey. Ed and Lorraine went to a funeral home, they broke the door and get inside to the body's place, they starting to look for Jessica body. They found a Jan Doe body it was like burned one. Lorraine catch its hand, but she didn't feel the connection. Lorraine felt a connection from another place, she closed her eyes and walked towards the connection. Lorraine telling Ed what she's seeing, she told him about the stairs and there's a 12 black candles. She told him that she is a woman, Ed asked her if she could to see her, then she told him that she's seeing with her eyes. Lorraine saw that she completing the curse, she controlling Arnie. Lorraine said a prey and now she can see the woman who making the curse, the woman told her that the god cursed her now. In the prison, Arnie smashed the bottle by his hand and starting to cut himself, the guard saw him. In the funeral home, the light turned off, and Ed went to turn it on. He saw that there is a body missing, Ed told Lorraine that she had to come back now, the body ran towards Lorraine and Ed ran to took her hand from the body, Lorraine let the hand and the walking body went down. In the Warren's home Debbie and her brother there, Ed asked about Arnie they told him that he would be okay, Ed brought the girl's case files and hoping to find something connecting with Arnie's case. Debbie's brother want to show them a book that he found, it's an old book, they used it in the past to know about the magic and curses, it's written by a Latin language. They could translate something of it, they know how to stop they. The curse could be stopped by destroying the altar, but they don't know its place, Ed said that they would found another way if they looked to the files, he said it while standing then he felt down. Ed on his bed in the room and waked up starting to look for Lorraine, he getting down from the stairs found a mark on the wall, he started to shout it by Lorraine's name he found her cross. The woman who making the curse was in their home, telling him that he and Lorraine collected a precious things, then the walking body get inside the home and started to chase Ed, then Ed took Lorraine cross and starting to say a prey, he got a knife and he tried to kill the body, but Debbie's brother catch his hand, because he was going to kill Lorraine. Ed told them that the woman was here and he got into their office looking for something. Lorraine found a dry flowers and they Debbie told her that it came yesterday and it was fresh. Ed took the vase and throw it on the ground, 
He found a totem, Lorraine told him that she would took the book they have to someone to translate it and Ed told her that he and Debbie's brother were looking into the files to find a connection. Ed and the boy started to looking into the files and they till now didn't find a connection between David, Jessica and them, because Jessica is far away from them. Ed knew that Jessica found her totem in her car while getting back from college. The college is near to them, now they found a connection. Ed and the boy tried to narrow the places that they should looking at it by knowing the times at the train station and the place of the river, Ed found something. Meanwhile, Lorraine went to the former father to translate the to her. She got into the home, the father started to translate the book, he told her that the curse need three people a child, a woman, and a religion man. She called him that the religion man is her husband, the father took her to his place that the church putting on at the things that it scared for him. The father showed her an album for his daughter, Lorraine told that she didn't know that he have a daughter. He raised her away from the church. Lorraine knew that his daughter is the woman who making the curse. He told her that there's a tunnels under this home that she used to discover it, her altar might be there. In the prison Arnie waked up and told Debbie that she is close. Lorraine felt the woman and the father took him to the place of the tunnels to destroy her altar. Lorraine got inside and the father trying to kill himself, but his daughter killed him first. While Lorraine was walking into the tunnel she saw that the woman killed her father. She continued walking, went to her altar and tried to destroy it, but it was so heavy. The woman got inside and tried to hurt Lorraine. Meanwhile, Ed arrived, he got into the tunnels from outside, the woman found him and put something in his eyes, after that he was trying to kill Lorraine. The woman went to her altar to continue the curse, Ed was trying to hunt Lorraine and in the hospital the father was saying a prey to help Arnie. Arnie got free from the bed and starting to make like David. Arnie took a piece of glass and tried to kill himself. Meanwhile, Ed and Lorraine went to the altar place, Ed was going to kill Lorraine, but she talked to him telling him to remember her and to open his eyes. In that time, Arnie put the piece of glass on his neck and was going to kill himself while flying in the air, Debbie took his hand prevented him from killing himself. And here is Ed and Lorraine, Ed opened his eyes and destroyed the altar, a woman came to them and Ed told her that she promised the demon by a soul, now he would took her soul. The demon killed her, then Arnie waked up. Ed and Lorraine got out from the tunnels, he told her that he forgot his bells and she had a one on her necklace. The police came to the place. Another day Arnie went to the trial, the judge gave him five years to stay in the jail. Ed made a place like the one which he and Lorraine stay in their first meeting. Arnie and Debbie got married while Arnie was in jail and they still married for now. A real meeting to the real Ed and Lorraine get out on the screen and a real records to David and Arnie's case. The movie ends. That's my explanation for the movie. Before the video ends, when you reach the end, it means that I succeeded. So, don't forget to subscribe to Elite Recap channel, and hit the bell button to get notification all new videos. And like this video, it really helped channel to grow. Thanks you for watching. See you in the next video.